We're really glad you've taken a step to start a group. I'm Emmy, and I'll be your host throughout the study. As you begin with your new group, you're going to discover that people have different ideas about small groups, what they are, what to expect, and why we even have them. In this session, Will Lewis, our senior pastor, is going to share with you his heart and vision for small groups and why we have small groups at Brazos Fellowship. He's gonna talk about what you can realistically expect from your group. And he's gonna give you three things you can do starting right now to get the most out of your new group. Then your group will have some time to begin to get to know each other a little better. I am so excited to be here with you tonight. I'm so excited to that you guys are taking this step towards community by joining a small group tonight. And uh, I just want to say that we're totally convinced that, uh, that God is going to use this group to grow relationships in your life. If you're married, it's going to grow your marriage. Most importantly, it's going to grow your faith. Uh, we just have seen this over and over with people here at Brazos Fellowship, that the small groups have been used to grow them. People just like you that have started, maybe you've never been in a small group before. I'm so excited that you're getting to start that tonight. Uh, maybe you're a veteran of small groups, but we're so glad that you're a part of this, this semester of, of going through the small group training and, and being a part of the small groups, rather. So... Um, we're so glad that you're a part of this, and here at Brad's Fellowship, we have said this over and over, I'm sure you've heard it a lot, that life is better connected, and we truly believe that because we have seen how God has used these groups to change lives, and over the next few minutes, I want to share with you the vision, our, really our vision for uh, small groups here at Brad's Fellowship, and also want to share with you three things that are going to help you to get the most out of your groups here at Brazos Fellowship. Um, and so let's begin by just asking the question, why do we have groups here at Brazos Fellowship? Well, first of all, we have groups because we wanna create an environment for you to be able to pursue both healthy relationships and spiritual growth. So that happens um, in such a powerful way because if you will make a commitment to be a part and regularly in that group, it will transform your life. So let's start by talking about the three things that make for a healthy group, okay? Number one is accountability. Accountability is simply when I give you permission to speak into my life and you give me permission to speak into yours for the express purpose of growing spiritually. And the second one is belonging. Belonging is something going all the way back to the schoolyard when we were little kids. We were looking for groups to belong to. And that's what we're, we're hoping that these groups will really become for you, is a place where you can belong. Now, once the relationships begin to form in the group, you're going to feel like you really do belong. It's not going to happen overnight, but over the next several weeks, we're going to begin to see more and more that the, the, the sense of belonging is going to grow and deepen in that group. And finally, care. Care is what happens naturally when people feel known and they really belong. And what's so beautiful here over the last several years in small groups, we have seen care happen just spontaneously, both um, in tangible and intangible ways, where groups just come together and take care of, bless, and help one another in such beautiful ways. And I, I really hope and pray, and I really believe it will happen for you guys as well, starting here tonight. Now, so let's talk about what you can expect as you start your new group, okay? Now, people start groups for all different kinds of reasons. Sometimes people start a group because they're thinking, oh, great, I want a deep Bible study. Or maybe somebody's going through a really hard time in their life and they're thinking, I need some people to walk through this hard time with me. Or maybe they're saying, I just need friends. <laughs> I just like to have some friends. Well, we believe that Small groups shouldn't be any one of those, but should be a combination of all three of those things. That, in other words, our groups isn't just a Bible study, but you're gonna learn how to read the Bible and how to apply it to your life. Your small group isn't a support group, but I hope that you will give them permission to speak into your life and that you will have opportunities to speak into theirs. Your, your small group isn't just a social group, uh, but I really believe that, that as you go through your group, it's going to be fun. You're going to make new friends. It's going to be awesome. Again, it's not any one of those things. It is a combination, a healthy group, that is, of all three of those things. 
So whatever your reason for joining a group tonight, um, we really believe that this is the first step in you being able to really connect here at Brazos Fellowship. So here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna give you three things that are gonna help you to be able to really get the most out of your group, okay? It's show up, join in, and be real, okay? So let me talk about each one of those. First, show up. This means making a priority out of your group. This means putting it on the schedule and saying, I'm gonna be there every time they meet. And you probably heard this from your mom and dad growing up, you only get out of things what you put into them, right? And if you make a priority to say, I'm going to be there, then you're gonna really get the most out of them. The next one is to join in. Join in means that you're willing to speak up, that you're gonna ask questions, you're gonna be prepared, that you're willing to just really um, be a part. It's easy to kind of sit back and just be quiet, even if you tend to be a quieter person. I wanna encourage you to move out of that comfort zone a little bit and be willing to engage and talk and, and really let the group in and really participate in the group. And finally, number three, is to be real. Let people know in your group what's really going on in your life. And I know that's hard because you're just meeting each other right now, but there's gonna be a time down the road where you need to just open up, be real, be honest, and give your group permission not to accept the I'm fine when they ask you how you're doing, okay? Because they're gonna probably, after a while, if you sharing and being honest, they're gonna know what you're really struggling with. And so being real is gonna make all the difference in the world. So doing these three, I believe that God is gonna use the members of your group to grow you, and he's gonna use you to grow the members of your group. It's gonna make such a huge difference. And I can't wait to hear the stories. We, we have them every time we launch groups of how God is gonna use this group to impact your life. So I, I really believe that's gonna happen once again with this launch of this group tonight. So if you wouldn't mind, I'd love to pray for you guys right now, and we will commit this group that you're about to join to the Lord, all right? Father, we come before you, and this is so exciting tonight, Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for letting these groups be launched in your name. And God, I pray that right now that every person in the group would commit right now to show up, join in, and be real that they would be willing to take that step to grow in intimacy with you, in community with one another, and influence in the world, God. And we pray all of this in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in that name, we say amen. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. And I will continue to be praying for you and your group. Have a great evening. All right.